Hey, it's Harker from Play. Today I'll show you how to activate your device's microphone to create a speech-to-text interaction in Play. We'll use Play's speech trigger, which uses Apple's SF speech recognition. We'll also use our start speech and stop speech actions to control the speech trigger. So let's dive in. I'm gonna select my full page, go into interaction mode and add a speech trigger. Although you can add a speech trigger to any object on your page. Now, usually, I like to talk about the trigger properties, but in this case, I'm going to create the full interaction using a set text action to show you how this works. We're going to select the text element that we want the words that the user says to be outputted into. So we're going to use this one called output. And then for the text property, we're going to open the expression editor and use a speech trigger property. So we're going to select speech dot, and now you can see all of the properties. The one we'll use here is output. So whatever the speech trigger hears the user says, it's gonna write that in text and that's gonna be the output. So now just to show you how this works, I'm gonna turn on auto start on our speech trigger, which now means it should be listening to whatever I say. So as I start speaking, you can see all of those words are going to be put into this text element that we selected. Now I'm gonna turn the auto start off and now let's talk about the other speech trigger properties. So the first one is called trigger. There's two options here, which are basically just two different ways to use the speech trigger. The first one is always, and this is helpful when you want to create a speech to text interaction like what we're doing here. It's always going to be listening for the words that the user is saying. The other option is on word spoken. This allows you to choose specific words that are like magic words that the speech trigger will listen for. So you could type in blue, orange, or once upon a time, or you can do all three of them with commas in between. Whenever any of those special words are said and the speech trigger hears it, that's when the actions will be fired. You can also turn on stop on match. And then when those magic words are said, the speech trigger is going to stop listening. Another way to do that is using a stop speech action, which we'll talk about later, but the stop on match basically does it automatically. In this example, we're gonna use always. The next property is auto start. So when that's turned on, as soon as your prototype loads, the speech trigger is going to be listening for what the user is saying. We like to keep this off because of one of Apple's best practices, which says you should not be using the speech recognition for more than one minute as it affects performance and battery life. You can also start a speech trigger using a start speech action, which we'll talk about later in this video. Next, you have the language, and you can select any language that this speech trigger will be listening for. So it's English right now. So if I said, hello, my name is Harcourt, the speech trigger would hear that. But if I said, hola, me amo Harcourt, the speech trigger would not hear that because I'm not speaking in English. Next, we have uses continuously. So when this is turned on, whatever the user says is all gonna be saved in this output. But if it's turned off, then that output is going to be saved based on how long you speak for and how long you're silent for. And you can set those durations right here. So let's say this max silence is two seconds. Anytime the user is silent for two seconds, the speech output is going to be reset. And when the user starts speaking again, that will be saved as the output. Same thing is true for the max speech duration. If the user talks for 10 seconds here, at the end of those 10 seconds, the speech output will be reset. When the user keeps talking, that will be saved as the output. And then lastly, we have is enabled, which is the same as all other triggers. When it's turned on, that means the speech trigger is able to work. So now let's create the interaction where when I hold down on this little button down here, it records. And when I release my finger, it stops recording. So we're going to go on there, select this full thing, and we are going to add a touch down action or trigger. That's a touch trigger with a state being touched down. On here, we're going to add that start speech action. There's three properties here. The first one is target. And this is where you're going to select the object or page that the speech trigger is on. And if you'll remember, we put it on the full page. So let's select that full page. And now that enables this second property. And we can select speech, which is that speech trigger. Then you can also choose the language. So if it's current, it's gonna use whatever that speech trigger was, which was English, but I could also change this to be Arabic. So now it's only gonna recognize when I start speaking Arabic. And this is going to override the language we selected in the speech trigger. Now, I don't know how to speak Arabic, so I'm gonna go back to current. Now we're going to add another touch trigger. 
This time the state will be touch up. So this is when the user removes their touch. When they do that, we want to st stop the speech trigger. So we're going to add a stop speech action. Same as the start speech, you're going to select the object that the speech trigger is on, and then you can select that speech trigger. Excellent. So now let's try this on our iOS device. So I'm going to double tap just to reset it. And now when I hold down, it's going to listen to what I'm saying and it's going to write everything out. So hello, wow, this is so cool and exciting that Play does this. I love this feature. And then when I remove my touch, you can see nothing else is saved there in the output because that speech trigger is no longer listening. And that's how you'll use the speech trigger in Play. We're excited to see how you'll use it in your prototypes. Thanks for watching this video.